Bell English from the William Sonoma Test Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make classic French madeleines, a favorite of our founder Chuck Williams, who fell in love with them when he first visited Paris back in the 1950s. Today I'm lucky enough to use his original recipe, so let's get baking. Madeleines are a classic French sponge cake that are baked in these molds, which is how they get their iconic shell shape. The madeleine pan was actually one of the first specialty pans that Chuck brought back to the States to sell in his shop in the late 50s. And today I'm using a slightly more updated version of his original pan with our exclusive William Sonoma Gold Touch Nonstick Bakeware Collection that comes in two sizes, which is super fun. The classic madeleines plus a small mini pan that makes the most adorable one bite madeleines. Okay, I'm gonna start by sifting my flour and my baking powder. Next I'm gonna add a little sugar and one egg and a little bit of orange blossom water. Okay, I'm just gonna mix this on low until it gets slightly combined. Great, and then I'm gonna turn the mixer up to high and let that go for about 10 minutes until it gets quadrupled in size. Okay, great, now that my eggs have about quadrupled in size, I'm gonna fold my sifted dry ingredients into the eggs. I wanna make sure I keep a really light grip here because I don't want to flatten the egg that the mixer just worked so hard to get all nice and fluffy. And I want to mix until just about no dry streaks remain. Oh, and I can't forget to add our four tablespoons of softened butter. Perfect. I'm going to let this chill for about 30 minutes in the refrigerator, and then we'll fill our pans. Okay, I'm going to give my pan a quick spritz of baking. The ceramic base gold touch already is super non-stick, but this will just make sure that the madeleines come out with that perfect detail when they come out of the oven. And I always like to use a pastry brush to just brush out the extra. Okay, great, now to fill the pans. I like to use a small ice cream scoop. This one's about one tablespoon. That way I know that each madeleine mold is filled with the same amount of batter. I'm just spooning the batter right in the center of the well. That way when it bakes, it will bake evenly and rise up. This bakeware is made with commercial grade aluminized steel for the ultimate heat conductivity. So you don't have to worry about flipping the tray around halfway through baking or anything like that. Just pop them in the oven, wait 10 to 12 minutes and you'll have perfect madeleines. Okay, here are madeleines fresh from the oven. And you see this beautiful hump on top, un bel boss as they would say in French. That's how you know they're legit. Okay, I'm just gonna invert these out onto a wire rack so that they cool slightly. Nailed it. <laughs> Ugh, the perfect non-stick release. These are so beautiful on their own. You don't even really need to decorate them. I'm gonna give them a light dusting of confectioner sugar for that classic French finishing touch. That was so easy and so fun in my kitchen. Officially smells like a French bakery. Chuck always said that the madeleines are best served warm. So I'm just gonna pour a little coffee to enjoy with them. For Chuck Williams' madeleine recipe and to get these pans, head to williamsonoma.com. Au revoir.